Far-right politician Frank Magnitz has been severely injured in an attack seen by police as politically motivated. Officials say the leader of Alternative for Germany was in Bremen, was knocked unconscious with a piece of wood by three masked men. Well, joining me now to discuss this is our correspondent Emmanuel Schaus, who's in Berlin for us. Uh, Emmanuel, was this a politically motivated attack, as police are reporting? Well, uh, so far the police is looking for witnesses. There, are, uh, there is no proof as to uh, who uh, carried uh, this attack. It was a hooded man who attacked, who attacked uh, Frank uh, Magnus yesterday uh, evening. So the AFD, uh, his party, uh, said that the attack was the direct result of the hate speech against the AFD by a red-green uh, coalition. So red uh, for the Social Democrats and green uh, for the Green uh, Party. But so far, no suspect has been apprehended. Now, there were a lot of accusations last week following the, uh, hack, the mass hack attack against the German politicians and lots of uh, high-profile figures in Germany. Has this uh, changed sentiment towards the AFD? Well, uh, you know, uh, ever since the AFD entered uh, Parliament, the Bundestag, in September 2017, the political class uh, here in Germany is antagonized, and we can really see polarized opinions, especially about uh, the far right of the AFD. But today, the whole political class, people uh, from the Conservative Party, people from the Social Democrats, uh, are all condemning uh, this attack. Heiko Maas, the foreign uh, minister, the Social Democrat foreign minister of Germany, said that violence uh, could absolutely not be a means uh, to solve a political dispute. So every, uh, every person, every member of the political class here in Germany condemns this brutal attack against an AFD MP.